Remember when you are solving a system of equations and you want to use linear combinations, you need to make sure that both of your equations are in standard form, and again in this case they are, and then you also need to look for opposite terms to make sure that either your x terms are opposites or your y terms are opposites. So if we look here at the x terms between the two equations, we have really a 1x and a 5x. So these terms are not opposites. If you look at your y terms, we have a positive 1 and a negative 3. So these are not opposites either. So there's extra step we need to add in here before we can actually start combining these two equations together. What we want to do is we want to write an equivalent equation so that we do end up having opposite terms. So if we go through and we want to make the x terms opposites, what we can do is we can multiply this top equation by a negative 5 so that we would end up with a negative 5x, which is the opposite of a positive 5x. So that's the first thing we're going to do, is we're going to multiply every piece of that top equation by a negative 5. So that's going to give us negative 5x minus 5y equals negative 25. And then we're just going to rewrite that second equation underneath so that everything is lined up nicely. Now that we have opposite terms here, we can go through and we can combine our two equations together by adding them. So negative 5x plus 5x is going to add out to 0. We have a negative 5y plus a negative 3y, which is going to give us negative 8y. Negative 25 plus a positive 17 is going to give us a negative 8. And then if we divide both sides by negative 8, we get y equals a positive 1. And just like with every other system we've been solving, we need to go back now and figure out what the x value would be. So you can substitute that 1 into the original equation you could substitute it into the equivalent equation. Usually when we substitute this in we kind of just go back to that first top equation but it really does not matter which equation you decide to substitute in for. So if we substitute in 1 for y in that original top equation we get x plus 1 equals 5 and then if we subtract 1 from both sides we get x equals 4. Our final step is writing our point, so in this case here, the solution to the system would be 4, 1. And again, always remember to be substituting that ordered pair back into your equations to make sure you end up with true statements.